All right, welcome back everybody. At this juncture, you've probably got a number of different features for your game. Not sure exactly where you are in the playlist here, but uh, you've got a marble maze uh, with some challenges and things to collect um, that, that's coming along, and you may want to turn this into your final game. Um, well, generally when we're playing a, uh, a game, we don't want to dive right into the, the gameplay, the first level here. We want some kind of you know, perhaps obstacle, some kind of explanation, maybe just an intro screen to get them to, to be ready to play, or there may be some kind of controls or storyline or something like that that you'd like to create. So uh, we'd like to, I'd like to create a start screen and show you a couple other new features. So um, I'm going to make myself a brand new scene, just like I did with the other levels. In this case, I'm going to make it a three. I'm going to make it actually. Um, I'm going to make it a, a start screen so I can make this uh, a 2D screen if I like. Um, it's going to be my, my beginning screen. So I'm going to call this a start, start screen there because uh, the, the start screen is actually going to be more like a menu. And so for that, I need maybe some kind of title. Um, and depending on where you you're at you may have done this before but uh, i'm going to make a label here for my start screen and the label is just going to be something like uh, laird's marble madness game there you go i'm going to make that um, centered there and I don't know maybe I'll make it on two two levels so I'll make it a little bit bigger um, if you haven't yet done this we can certainly I've grabbed a font from online uh, in this case it's prism regular and uh, I am going to pop that into the theme override into the fonts because I'd like to change the font from the default font here uh, you may have done this already in one of your other videos. So just drag that over and then I can also change the font size to, you know, let's make, whoop, that's a little bit big there. There we go. Make it look a little nicer here. Um, other things I'd like to add to this is maybe some kind of picture, some kind of background picture. Uh, I don't really have a great graphic. I've got the, um, on level one, uh, we've got our background here, so I can't really do that. So, you know what? I think I'd just like to use a screenshot maybe of my level here uh, that I can play around with. So let's line this up. Uh, now I've got the lines and the arrows here. Um, if you click view, you can turn off the origin and the grid. So I can kind of get, I don't know, some kind of view of my game. like so not sure why i get to see all the outlines of it but i i could i could spend a little bit of time in some graphic design but you know i'm just going to make this a quick little screenshot maybe with the nice sun in the background like so uh, i'm going to use a tool called the snipping tool if you've never used that before uh, there's also a snip and sketch one here but i'm all of this does is allows me to grab a new, grab a screenshot of a particular area. So I'm gonna kind of grab that as a little look and I'm gonna save that picture into my, uh, into my documents. And uh, let's see, oh, I'll pop into the materials folder and I'll call this background there we go and that should be brought in here um, now what I want is that picture as a bit of a, as a, a display so a little little bit something more interesting here um, I can grab that under materials I can just drag it over um, here honestly and it'll pop it in as a sprite uh, now, keep in mind, or if you haven't done this before, the order of your nodes is important. So notice that my background picture, uh, which I could, let's see, stretch out a bit here. 
is covering over, oops, a little bit big, uh, is covering over my writing, which is not something I really want to do. Uh, but if I change the order here, if I drag this above the label, you'll see the label appears above it. Now that doesn't exactly look great. So I don't know, I'd like to maybe edit that a little bit. And that's why dragging it over might not be the best idea here. So let's try another way. I'm going to actually delete that node. And I'm going to add another node here, something called a texture rect. And this allows me to bring in a picture rather than a sprite. It's a texture rectangle. Um, and I get some options here. where I can actually fade this into the background under this visibility modulate. Um, we Here we can also change the colors and we can tweak it basically does a color overlay there. Um, but by making it a little more invisible and then changing the size, we can uh, make it a little more a little into the background the um, the label then comes out a little bit more but you know what I could also do is add a color rect in the background here and I'm gonna put that in behind the label now the color rect being white is means that it's uh, it's not really helping me out with white text but if I were to say I don't know, make that a little bit darker, make it a black overlay here. Then I could start to make things appear a little bit, make them pop out a little bit more. Um, and I may want to go with the color rect, I may want to make that side to side. So it just stands out a little bit more from the game. I might want to put some other information here, but um, you know I'm doing this very, very quickly so you can see some of the options that are available. Maybe we want to make this this picture a little bit uh, you know smaller as as a lesser part of the game as well. You know, just in the background, kind of fading in or something like that. Um, so that we only see a small part of it. Do some kind of gradient type thing, but there's there's lots of options that you can have to make it look good. You could also bring into some graphic design software to maybe do this in Photoshop might be a little bit better. I'm actually going to leave it like that. Uh, however, if we play our game, uh, we're going to save that as start screen. You can see we're, we're kind of stuck on the Marble Madness. I also don't really like that font particularly in in this in this game but um gives me a little bit of a start with it i'd say you know make yours a look a little bit nicer uh and i'm not particularly happy with that screenshot either uh, but we can we can play around maybe grab a different one from a different level without that background um, but what i am looking for is to be able to actually play my game because once you see your start screen uh, we have no way of actually starting the, the game and starting the gameplay. And that's where we're adding this last node here, which is a button node. And the button is a great one to be able to create things. Here, I'm going to bring that button up there. And here we go. And buttons, we can also give it some text. I've done a start there. We can also go for a theme override and I'll grab that same font again. After playing with it a bit, perhaps I'd like a different font. There we go with a little start button here. Uh, and if we play our game at the moment, you can see that we've got now a not particularly nice looking start screen. I'm not too happy with that, but uh, I do have a button here. As I click on it, you can see that it, it's very obviously a button. Um, 
And what we need to do is get that button to do something. So fortunately, a button is a great little node that has been given to us and it's got a few properties. You can, you can make it uh, clear in the background. You can change some of the style settings, but it also has a, sig a few signals here. And these signals are allow us to know if the button's up, the button's put down, the button's been pressed, um, or if you've got a special toggle button, you can have that happen. So if we're gonna have that signal uh, activate going to the next screen, I need a script here. Um, I'm gonna put it on the start screen. I usually like to put my scripts on the parent if possible, just so it can access other things if needed. Uh, so I'm gonna make a start screen script and then say to the button, when the button is pressed, let's link that up to the start screen. I would like to go to get tree, change scene to file, and I can pick my level one. And that way, now I've got a scene here that's my starting screen, and I can activate go to level one. If you wanted to, you could have it go to a instruction screens. You could have a series of buttons that were to linking to different spots, uh, telling a story, giving instructions, uh, what have you, seeing a high score table, whatever you like. Now you've got almost like a web page that you can build. Um, now, <clears throat> I need to make sure that this is my main screen. This is the one that I want to go to. And a button we've been ignoring so far is this play the project button up in the corner here. Uh, this is what we should actually be usually, usually using to run it. At the moment, we are currently always playing the scene, which just runs the current scene we're on. But if I click this button, it asks me, do you want to, you haven't defined a main scene, do you want to select one? Uh, we can also change this later on under project settings, under the application category. But uh, since I've never done this before, I can either select a main scene or I'm on my start screen so I can select the current one and that will immediately run and have now picked the main scene for my game. If I click the start button, then I start to play. Um, notice even if I am on say level one and I run the project now, doesn't matter what scene I'm on, I'll always go back to that beginning one and hopefully you spend a little bit more time making yours look fabulous. Um, I think I even like that color rectangle over the whole thing so that it just, Pops. I don't really like that line there. In fact, let's fix that right now with my color rect. Let's kind of darken the whole background. I think that already looks a little bit better. Again, better font, I think, for this kind of thing, but ah, I like that a little bit better looking there. Now it pops and I've started my game. So there's a start screen. You could use the same idea for a game over screen, same idea for an instruction screen, etc.